forgot to grab my hairbrush. <laughs> okay, so far so good. <laughs> my god am i seeing a green bit rate and an excellent streaming connection on my very first attempt to stream of the day what <laughs> what is this feeling so sudden and new okay i see the stream is still kind of laggy but um yeah i can't remember the last time that uh I just opened the stream and my first attempt at streaming on my MacBook here. Um, I can't remember if I've ever had another time where like from the start the uh, the bitrate was good and the connection was good. So this is amazing. I'm very happy. I'm very pleased with this. So as the as the um, <coughs> As the stream title says, I'm gonna do a little get ready with me. Um, only for about like however long it takes me to just get my hair um, put into this like heatless curling style thing. Um, so I'm gonna look funny once we're done with that, but I just wanted to uh, chat with y'all and do that on stream because uh, I have a date later this evening. So that'll be part of my um, finishing my, my get ready with me or whatever. <clears throat> and then once I'm done with that, I'll uh, play Fall Guys. And whoever's watching is, feel, uh, is free to join me. Fall Guys is free. And it's cross-platform. So. <clears throat> also, let me grab tissue really quick. Not sure why the stream is still kind of choppy. I'm not sure why it's kind of choppy. Um, since it's telling me that the... Well, yeah, why am I only getting so many frames per second? Okay, it's just... It's slowly increasing the frames per second, but I'm just not sure, um... Never mind. The bits, the frames per second is, like, fluctuating. Um, can I change that, or do I have to stop the stream to change that? Because I've had it, I've had it at 30 frames per second for a while now. And, um... Yeah, no, I can't change that without stopping the stream. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna roll with it. Because it says the bitrate is good. And it says it's an excellent connection, so... Yeah, if... If we lose some frames and if the stream is laggy, I'm I'm sorry. I hope it'll I hope it'll get better soon. But 
I'd have to stop the stream to like fiddle with the settings some more and um, I'd rather not do that if I don't have to. But yeah, considering it's, it's like I'm not even trying to uh, access my capture card yet, like we're just trying to use just my camera, like the stream shouldn't be laggy. This shouldn't be happening. But I've also noticed sometimes that um, there's like a delay in between how the stream looks versus like how it says the stream is performing. So I don't know. I'm just going to roll with it and hope that it gets better. Oh, you know what I forgot to grab? I like to use a, a little... use one of these to help keep the um, this whole thing from moving around on my head. Anyway, so you all get to uh, get an inside look into... <laughs> I mean, if you're also a woman who looks into heatless... <laughs> heatless styling methods, then this is probably nothing new to you, but otherwise this might be a, an interesting little inside look into, uh, you know, what do you call it? A beauty routine? Self-care routine? But anyway, <clears throat> how's everyone's Friday going? I don't know about y'all, but... I had such a hard time getting up today, and I should have gotten enough sleep, because I fell asleep around like maybe 1 in the morning, and then I woke up for the first time around like 8 or something, and my body was like, bitch, no, go back to sleep. But then even when I was waking up to like my alarms at like 9 and 10, like, I still was just so tired that I kept like immediately just turning the alarms off and then going straight back to sleep because I was just so drained and so tired and I'm not sure why. Like I did go to the botanical gardens yesterday here in Dublin and so I did walk around quite a bit because even after I left I went back like to the, the city center in Dublin and I walked around like uh, O'Connell Street by the O'Connell Bridge and the O'Connell Monument and the Spire and all of that. Um, so yeah, I did walk around quite a bit yesterday and like not just walking around and like exploring but also just being around lots of people because <laughs> um, I took the buses and thankfully the buses weren't too crowded but there was also a lot of people at the gardens just because it was a really really gorgeous afternoon yesterday it's really pretty today too um or like you know what most people <laughs> consider to be beautiful weather me personally i prefer the cloudy gloomy weather but for an afternoon at the gardens you really couldn't have asked for better weather it was just gorgeous and sunny and like 70 degrees and perfect to like, you know, take your jacket off and plop down in the grass and just, it was heavenly. I loved it so much. So I don't know if it was like just being around crowds and being around people yesterday or if it was that plus all the walking around or if I'm like having an inflammation flare up. <laughs> or if it's like some combination of all of the above. But um, yeah, just getting up took so long this morning. Like I couldn't properly wake up and like get my day going until like noon. 
And another factor is I might, I'm <laughs> probably still jet lagged. I'm probably still just like adjusting my, my internal clock and everything. But, um, you know, it's like I'm used to being a night owl and going to sleep late and like waking up later. But especially when like, you know, I'm in Dublin and I want to uh, try to go and explore things and whatever. Um, it's just hard not to feel a little bit of that, like, sense of guilt of, like, sleeping so late into the day and then being like, well, shit. Um, anyway. Um, but the other thing is, in my, uh, several years now of living in other countries and, uh, being sort of a digital nomad, I realized that one of the reasons that I like to be a, what I call a digital slow mad, because I like to spend like as much time as I can in one place because I don't like to do the kind of um, traveling where it's like you're only in a place for like a week or two and every single day has to be jam packed with tours and excursions and going out in public. I just can't do that. Like, um, when I visited New York City when I was in college, I went with um, like my college's theater group. And so we went all together as a group. And that was cool because, you know, by doing that, we saved a lot of money. And it was like, otherwise, I don't know if it would have been affordable for me to, to visit NYC. But, um, like, we were only there for a week, and every single day was jam-packed with, you know, trying to see Broadway shows, and trying to go to all these, you know, trying to go to the Met, and Cloisters, and just all of these landmarks, and then, you know, people want to go to Brooklyn, and, um, there's just so much to see, and because we were only there for a week, because I didn't know things about myself yet, um, like, it was just too much for me, and, like, there was this one day where we were supposed to go to Cloisters, and, well, the group, everybody else did go, but, like, I had to just, like, go tell everybody, hey, I, I can't, I have to go back to the hotel because I got, um, I didn't know it at the time, but it was a migraine. <laughs> it was, like, one of the first migraines I've, I'd ever had, which is why I didn't know that that's what it was. But I just had the, you know, like the worst headache I'd ever had and like light and sound and everything was just really, really aggravating the headache and everything. And so like come to find out years later after the fact, looking back and being like, oh, that was my first like migraine. Um, and it was, it was like my nervous system was just too overwhelmed, you know, like having to go out and, and deal with the crowds and the rush, rushing around and like standing outside of TKTS trying to get tickets for whatever show we could afford, you know, just like all of it, it was like too much. So anyway, that was one of the negative experiences that like helped me realize that like, oh, okay, like I need to have days in between, you know, like at least a day in between, um, those like really busy days where you're just like you're out all day and you're doing a bunch of different things like I can maybe do one or two of days like that a week if I'm even if I'm not traveling even if I'm just like wherever I'm living like um just like it's not sustainable for me to be like going out in public every single day especially going to crowded places and like really busy places it's just like it really um overwhelms my nervous system after a while and then I get migraines <laughs> so um so anyway it's it's taken a lot of just like learning about myself and learning about what works best for me but then also like there's a whole component of this pressure to be like making the most of every single day right and it's like for for example I was in Brazil for like nine whole months in 2021 and I never left the state of, well, no, that's not true. I did leave the state of Sao Paulo. Did I? I forget. I only, like, I, I, there was only one time where I ventured outside of, like, 
um, the Sao Paulo state. Like, Sao Paulo is one of the most famous cities in Brazil, and there's the capital city of Sao Paulo, um, but it's actually the name of a, a, that whole state as well. And like, I pretty much stayed in Sao Paulo capital and then Campinas, which is like, um, it's still like a relatively, it's a, it's a city, but it's just a smaller city, but it's in that same state. And there was only one time where I left that whole area. I was either like in Sao Paulo capital or in Campinas or like back and forth. And that whole time, that whole nine months that I was there, you would think that I would want to be just like, you know, trying to go all over and see as much of the country as I could. But first of all, it was still during, I mean, not that COVID has gone away or anything, not that we are not still in a pandemic, but it was definitely, um, there was a lot more restrictions on travel and, and things like that. And um, anyway, just that's an example of like, um, like I might spend several months in one place and I had to really work hard to like unlearn this mental pressure um, to just like be going out every single day and seeing as much of where I was living at the time, you know? And um, yeah, sometimes I still, you know, here in Dublin, I'm still just like, man, sometimes I wish that my energy levels were different and that I could, you know, just like, um, you know, take more time to, uh, just have, have the capacity to, like, go out and do more and see more, but, um, you know, the cost of it is, like, I know what, I know what might happen to me if I do try to push myself in that way. I might get a migraine, and then I have to, and then that might be, depending on how long that migraine lasts, I might be, like, out of commission, not just for that day, but for the day after as well, and so it's, like, if I try to push myself too much, then I will actually need even more time uh, to myself to recover from, from, you know, pushing myself that hard. Um, or I get sick in other ways besides just a migraine, like... Anyway. Okay, so now, <laughs> now that I'm looking all cute... <laughs> let me see what the stream is sounding like, because it looks like it's still kind of choppy. Okay, well at least the audio sounds smooth, but I'm sorry that the video is still choppy. I really don't know why it's being like that, especially since it's just my camera. I'm not asking it to do anything else. Um, that's frustrating. Frustrating. It's awfully frustrating. I also told you to be up in the, uh, where did you go? Hello? So anyway, um, so all that to say, for whatever reason, today has just been especially just been especially like drowsy and tired and like feeling like I need help getting going, getting the day started. So Red Bull is helping, even though I don't like to drink energy drinks and drink too much sugar too often. But I mean, if I was going to get a coffee, it would be sugar and caffeine as well. So it's like sugar and caffeine in which form? <laughs> I'm trying to do a speed test right now just to see. I should have done this before I started streaming, but I forgot. And now it's just taking, it's just being very slow to connect and to find a server. But yeah, let me get, let me see if I can get Fall Guys set up. Uh, 
Uh, okay. I think I see the problem. We're getting 9 megabytes per second upload, and I need 10 to be able to stream smoothly, and I need 10 especially to, to stream games. So... <laughs> Um, I don't know what to do about that other than to just like keep testing, keep testing the connection and hope that it'll get up to 10 here soon so we can stream some Fall Guys. But yeah, if it's, if the stream's just laggy just for me talking to y'all with just my video, then it's not really encouraging. That's even worse. <laughs> now it's eight. I don't understand. And it's saying that the encoding is overloaded? I don't know why it's saying that. I, don't know. I might have to end stream again, y'all. And uh, fiddle with the settings and then try to come back. Which is. Again, it's just frustrating because I got it to work Wednesday night uh, during the last stream. I, I got it to work and it was streaming Resident Evil and it looked really good. <laughs> uh, oh, come on. I'm barely getting 9 megabytes per second upload. Okay, um, I'm really sorry to the four of you who are watching right now, but I think I'm gonna have to just uh, end the stream and try to fiddle with the settings and hope that the Wi-Fi will improve and then come back for Fall Guys. But um, at least, I don't know if anybody, if anybody was watching and, you know, enjoyed watching me do my hair and just talk at y'all for, for a bit, but um, I will hopefully be right back. Alright, see y'all again, and yeah, if you want to come back to play some Fall Guys, and again, you can play with me, uh, Fall Guys is a free game, it's cross-platform, um, so I'll, yeah, maybe like an hour, hour and a half of Fall Guys, but let me just see if I can uh, get the stream to be a little bit smoother. Let me just, let me just try it one more time before I have to end stream. Let me just test it once more and see if it'll cooperate. I'm getting good download speed. Come on, get up there. Come on. I'm barely getting nine, barely getting nine, okay. And like, I can't do anything about that, that's just the Wi-Fi. And the Wi-Fi is generally good, so the fact that it's just a little bit less than what I need it to be right now for streaming is quite frustrating. <laughs> um, but yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna try to fiddle with things and hopefully be back in a few minutes. Thanks!